Good morning, sixth graders. Welcome to Math Lesson 83, page 402 to 406. The title of the lesson is Order of Operations. Your assignment for today will be 1 through 30, skipping, underlying skipping, number 18. All right. Now, this is an old concept a little bit. You're familiar with the order of operation. I know you did it last year. And we talked about it back in the first quarter and into the second quarter. So now we're going to start doing some other things with it. But we have the basic rules which is here from the book this is on your page this is on the bottom of your page 402 so again i'd write them out like we did with the ratio information but we have perform operation within parentheses multiply and divide in order from left to right and then third is add and subtract in order from left to right so we follow this sequence is what we do later we'll be fitting in exponents as well but not right now so anyway let's go ahead and go through an example where we have <clears throat> Right through here, I'm going to just do the first one right below here. We have 2 times 8 plus, and then this is the example 1, 2 times 6. All right, we have that right there. Now, so what order of operation, we're going to do the addition, very last is the third step, but we're going to do the multiplication because it's the second step. We're multiplying, divide, left to right. That means from left to right, however these occur, Multiply and divide left to right. So if division came first, we do division first here. But it, left to right is the key. So 2 times 8, 16, plus 2 times 6, which is 12, for a total of 28, because we added the last step. Now that's basically the first step. It's not difficult, but at the same time, following these steps as they work. All right, with that, let's go to the next one. Next one, well, I'm going to turn off the video because it's a little bit, little bigger can be a little bit tricky, but again, we're following these three steps that we've been. So hopefully you have those with you. And let's go ahead and tackle those. So I'll write those, write the problem up on the board. And <clears throat> once I get there, we have five tenths plus five tenths divided by five tenths. I'm going five tenths happy. Subtract 5 tenths, and last but not least, times 5 tenths. So again, I'm going 5 tenths happy. I'm going to make my little decimal points here. And just so we can get it right with that, everything in place here. So first off, what we're going to do, we're going to follow the rules. The first rule was parentheses. There aren't any. Don't worry about it. So the next rule is multiply, divide, left to right. So in this case... The division came first. So we're still doing this first, and then we'll multiply this set down here. So first off, I'm going to set it off to the side. So I'm going to go 0.5 plus, and I'm going to get an answer here. And so now I have 5 tenths divided into 5 tenths. Move over 1, move over 1, and up. So now I have it in. Erase that now because I'm all done with it. Now it's just basic division. 5 and 5 goes one time. So 5 plus 1.0. Now I'm going to put a 1.0 just to keep it straight. So it helps us keep it straight. And we have that. And, and it just it's easier because we're going to line up these decimals eventually. And then we're going to go to the next one. Subtract 5 tenths times 5 tenths. So we got to do that first. I started to write down, but I said I got to do the work first. So here we have 5 tenths times 5 tenths. 5 times 5 is 25. Decimal, two places, 1, 2, or to be 1, 2. So we count the, to the right of the decimal, number of places. So we have 1, 2, because there's one number on each side. We don't line them up like we do adding and count and just count one decimal place. This is two decimal places because there's two numbers to the right of the decimal. So we have subtract 0.25. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to add and subtract, third set, from the left to right. So what I want to do is I'm going to go ahead and have, I'm going to put 1.0 plus 0.5, which equals, lined up the decimals, 1.5. So I have 1.5 subtract 0.25 now. And so now I'm going to take that, and I'm going to again line up my decimals, 0.25. Fill in empty places zero, just like our rule state. And we get all taken care of. We're going to do the math. We have four 
and we have 5 from 10 is 5, 4 subtract 2 is 2, and our final answer, which is 1.25 for our final answer, doing the order of operation from left to right. But notice I did the multiplication and division first, and subtract second, and came up with the final answer. If I just went straight across, in fact, if you had your calculator, and you went boom, 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 you would get a way different answer. So again, you want to make sure, follow the order of operation. Okay, and that was, exa that was example two. Let's go to example three. This is going to involve parentheses. So I'll erase this. And parentheses, here we come. We have two parentheses, eight plus six. All right, now, remember, we also said that there's several ways to write multiplication. We can go, if we say 2 times 6, we said you can go 2 times 6, and you can also go 2 times 6, and you can also go 2 times 6. You can do all those mean multiplication. It's fair game. So and that's really what we're setting up here. So what we're going to do is we're going to do follow the rules. The first rule is parentheses work. So that means whatever's in parentheses, we do it first. So x plus 8 plus 6 is 14. All right. And then I keep my parentheses because it's setting up for multiplication. So 2 times 14, which equals 28. And I'm all done. So again, I basically did the parentheses work. Then I did my multiplication. So hopefully that, that is fairly easy for you. If not, again, we need to walk through it. Please give me a call. But make sure you know this part. These are forms of multiplication. This is all forms. We said this earlier in the year. Forms of multiplication. Okay? So make sure you have it. All right. I hope you have a good day. We'll see you in the next round.